we will talk about the simplifying the uh, simplifying simplifying algebraic expression when the coefficient coefficient is fraction okay we will start with the with the simplest one okay for example half x okay plus a quarter x like this okay this is the question look the coefficient here is fraction the coefficient for this term is also a fraction you still remember right half x this one is the term and the half here is the coefficient the x is the variable a quarter x a quarter is the coefficient and the x is a variable okay and look the coefficient all is fraction so maths to the title here right okay now my question first if I have 3x plus 2x what will you do to simplify this basically you just fi uh, figure it out whether this two is like terms or not okay how do you know that this one is like terms or who do how do you know that they are like terms well by looking on the variable if they are the same then you can say like this one okay i will like uh delete temporarily the variable so i will keep it in my safety box like that and then i will just take the coefficient so three plus two this one will be five and then later the one that i kept in the safety book i return it next to the result of the calculation here is 5x okay again one more example like for example x minus 3x okay both of them are like terms why because the variable that they use are the same so it means i can store the x first in the safety box it means this one will be one and this one will be minus three now one minus three that one will be minus two and then we will return the one that we kept in the safety box here and then it become minus two x get it now we go back to the to our topic simplifying algebraic expression when the coefficient is fraction now look both of them like terms both of them x so it means i can keep the x first on the safety box right like this okay and then here this one become half plus a quarter am i right now i think you deal with this one already addition dealing with a fraction okay now how to do this one you need to be sure before you adding the numerator here okay basically this one is the numerator this one is the numerator so one is numerator four is denominator for a quarter half one is numerator two is the denominator now before you can add them up you need to be sure that the denominators are the same but right now the denominators of both fractions are not the same so you need to make it the same okay how to do that you need to like find the smallest number that can be divided by four or two the the cool term for that one will be find the lcm of denominator okay now two and four hmm, what will be the the lcm there it will be four now four okay the two okay should be multiplied by what so it becomes four you need to multiply by two now in a fraction if the denominator is multiplied by two if this one is multiplied by two then the numerator also need to be multiplied by two something like that so the result will be two out of four okay plus 
Okay, do we need to change the denominator of this one? No. 4 is already the LCM of 2 and 4. So I just copy that one, 1 out of 4. And the result for this one, the addition for fraction means you add the numerator there. So it become 3 out of 4. Now, uh, again, remember, you have something on the safety box here, X. So you need to return it there. So the answer would be 3 out of 4 X. Okay? Maybe I will give you another example. Okay? For example, 2 out of 3 Y, okay, minus half Y. Okay, if you want to like do it by yourself first, it's fine. You just stop the movie. But if you still have problem to solve this one, you can continue watching the movie. Okay, again, both of them are like terms, right? Because all of them using the same variable, y. So I will keep the y in the safety box, my own safety box. So right now, by keeping, uh, keeping the y on the safety box, okay, the remaining will be like 2 out of 3 minus half. Now again, when you do the addition or subtraction for a fraction, you need to be sure that the denominator are the same. So you need to find the LCM of 2 and 3. Look, uh, I just uh, say the multiple of 2. Yeah? 2 cannot be divided by 3. Yes, can, but the result will be decimal, right? 4 can be divided by 3. Nah, it, the result will be decimal. How about 6? Well, 6 can be divided by 2. Whole number, right? 6 can be also divided by 3. So, oh, there you are. The LCM, the least common multiple, is 6. Okay? Now, in here then, look. The 3 here need to be changed to the 6. Now, 3 multiplied by what? So it becomes 6. You multiply it by 2, right? And in here, you also multiply by 2. How about the half here? If you, 2. If you want to make it by, uh, become 6, then you multiply by 3. This one, you multiply it by 3. Now, okay. We do the calculation. Okay, the first fraction, 2 out of 3. That one become 4 out of 6. Okay? And then minus, we go to the half 1. 1 times 3 is 3. And then after that, 2 times 3 is 6. Oh, so the result, look. The denominators are the same now. Okay, then the only thing that we need to do, we need to do calculation for the numerator. 4 minus 3 that one will be 1, and we just copy the denominator, will be 1 out of 6. Now, again, we have something on the safety box there, y, and then we need to return it there next to the 1 out of 6. So this one will be y. So the answer will be 1 out of 6, y. Okay, one more. Now, it becomes like this. For example, 1 out of 3 y plus half x minus half y and then minus 1 out of 6 X. Okay? Now, again, we need to, like, figure it out. Is there any like terms? So we can simplify this equation. There is, right? There is two terms using the Y as a variable. So I will group them first. A third Y minus half Y. So I can cross this one. I can cross that one. And is there any other like terms? Yeah. There are two like terms there using the x. So, plus half x minus 1 out of 6x. Okay? 
Now we will do one by one. About this one, okay? I will store the the y. Okay? And then in here, I will store the x. Okay? So this one become 1 out of 3 minus 1 out of 2. And then in here, it will be like half minus 1 out of 6. Again, denominators should be the same before you can like add or minus the numerator. Look, 3 and 2, the LCM will be, well, 2, 4, 6. So it will be 6, right? This one, to make it 6, the 3, you will multiply by 2. If the denominator is multiplied by 2, then the numerator, you also need to multiply by 2. Here, you also need to change it to become 6 by multiply it with 3. It means the numerator also you need to times it with 3. Okay? We do the calculation. This one become 2 out of 6 minus 3 out of 6. Okay? The same thing with the x1 here. Okay? Half and minus 1 out of 6. The LCM for this one will be, well, almost the same, 6. So this one, to make it 6, you multiply by 3. And this one also multiply by 3. So it means in here it will be 3 out of 6 minus 1 out of 6. Correct? That one there is a plus there. Okay? Now, almost there. This one, the denominators are the same. So look on the numerator. 2 minus 3, that one will be minus 1 out of 6. And then there is like a Y in the safety box there. You put it here. So put it there. Okay. And then after that, this one. Plus 3 out of 6 minus 1 out of 6. That one will be what? Plus... 2 out of 6 and then look there is something in the safety box it will be x so the answer will be minus 1 out of 6 y plus 2 out of 6 x or if, if you want to make it to the simplest form this one will be minus 1 out of 6 y plus 1 out of 3x. Do you notice that actually this one, the numerator, can be divided by 2 and this one can be divided by 2. I hope that this video can make you understand about simplifying algebraic expression when the coefficient is fraction. Thank you.